welcome. Good morning. This is day six, part two. It's now 11.36 in the morning. As the lunch crowd begins, I took a position for a short, not because I've got red bars and red dots on top of these bars, but because all of these colors change simultaneously right here to go to the down position on the ES lot. The inline is already outside of the danger zone and now the prime has made it through the zero as the bin, B-I-N, made an invisible crossing as the alpha line is headed down towards the zero. And what made this position even stronger was the way the RLM lot looked with the prime crossing through the zero and the spin lines below the zero and the bin having crossed down through the zero is usually a bin the BIN line this this green dash green line uh, crossing through the zero is an indication of where you, you would have gone in for that uh, in this case for the short so the short is manifesting itself and we'll see how far it goes the exit condition is when this bin line on either one of these turn to the up color which would be a light green that would be my exit condition so I'm waiting for that so we just stay and watch the uh, jerk lot of the uh, ES is finally making it into the uh, mids which would be the safe entry uh, conditions for newbies I wanted to restrict the newbies to only taking position when the jerk either bounces off the zero or as the jerk goes down into the mids. Those are the safe positions, safe places to take position. Any other um, placement of the jerk, especially being outside the narrows, is kind of um, iffy. It'll take more skills if you're going to do that. bin line has finally crossed down through the zero on the ES uh, which would have been an indication for us to finally go take that short the spin line is nice and strong going down outside the mids now so that's good Where the bid and ask lines unfortunately are at the top of the bar uh, which is not good which means that the uh, uptrend will continue and, and this is the end of it but I need to see what this bin line does because we're not supposed to get out until that we have a crossing of that prime with the bin line as here in the ES or the bin line turns the up color, similar to what happened here. So we're waiting. The uh, bid and ask lines here on the edge are now pushing the bottom of the bar, which is in our favor, so that's good. I'm watching for this prime here on the RLM. If it cuts into the bin line, yes, it's time to get out. The prime on the ES has made it past the danger zone, heading towards the lower mids. The prime on the RLM lot is past the lower mids, and I'm flattening as the prime begins to cut into the inline. So right there, 1,780 fills, and that ends part two.
of day six.